Hello guys, welcome to this video. So I'm gonna teach you how to build a Warfarin 11 team using your units. And I'm gonna show you a free to play uh, team and not a free to play team. Currently this is my Warfarin 11 team. Uh, I'm gonna show you my stats and my gear and what artifacts I use. Here's my Angelica, she's a healer and a tank. She's on my front liner. I'm currently using the free uh, health set that they're giving out. Uh, if you if you are using Angelica, make sure to max out her S2 and S3. But if you don't want to max out her skills, just at least make uh, at least make her plus three on her S2 and S3. Uh, this is her stats. Uh, you what you want to focus on is her her health mainly because she heals based on her health. So her health set is extremely important and I'm using this artifact uh, any artifact that heals the heals her or makes her more tanky is pretty good if you don't have any of those artifacts you could always use uh, the artifact candlestick it's right here it's like basically a free artifact since it's a three star you could basically get it from any summon uh, if you max her out, if you max the artifact out, is gonna be forty percent chance to reduce cooldown by one turn, which is really good. If you don't have Angelica, you could always use Momo. Momo is a really good healer, and she could somewhat be used as a tank as well if you have the right gear for her. This is my gear. Uh, I'm not using her in Warvern, but I'm just showing you guys. Uh, her skills, you can basically max all of her skills out since she doesn't need any Molagora. Here you go. And uh, for her skill tree, you want to max out specific skill trees just so you wouldn't waste any of those greater uh, frost ruin. You want to max out this one and this one right here for more effect chance. This one over here, especially for more effect chance as well. This one for more health or more cooldown. And this one right here is basically will give you a 50% chance to heal all of your units using her S2, which is pretty good. So you want to at least max this out right here. And after that, she could be used in Warburn. Uh, you could basically use the same gear and the same stats as for Angelica. Here. Yeah. Uh, you want to max out your gear as well. So for maximum potential. Yeah, you know, I I use uh, Karen as my TP DPS. Uh, this is my stats. I'm using the free uh, attack set right here, and this is a crit set. And I'm running her on Daydream Joker. If you have Day Daydream Joker Joker maxed out, you could basically get four percent of the enemy's max health damage increase, which is really good. And he. She's. I didn't max her out because she takes too much Malagora, but I did max out her S3 and I'm, I'm almost done maxing out her S2 as well. Uh, she's a really good unit in PvP and in Warfarin as well. And as in for my last unit I use is TG. TG is a defense dealer. And oh. And for uh, Karen, what you want to focus on is her attack and critical hit chance. You want to focus on her critical hit chance more. Since you at least want it to be 85 or more. Since um, when you're doing Warvern, it, it gives you a free 15% since you're fi fighting against the fire, fire unit. So that's good. And yeah. For TG, on the other hand, you want to use his effectiveness. You want to make it at least 85, the higher the better, since uh, you only want to use his S1, which is decreased defense. This is his gear, this is his stats, and if you you want to max out his S1 right here, so you could get the full potential of it. Uh, I suggest you guys run it with this free artifact. The event wasn't that long ago, so I'm pretty sure all of you guys should have it. If you're new to the game and you don't have it, you could just run him on uh, the candlestick artifact as well. Or basically any artifact that helps him deal more or helps him put more debuffs on enemy is really good. And yeah, this is my current team right here. I know it's not the best uh, gear right now, but hey, it's 
doing the job so i didn't really need to do anything else but if you're a free to play uh player and you're new to the game and you don't want to spend any of your precious sky stones and especially if you don't have dizzy which is a limited unit you could always use this team that i'm gonna show you it's a free to play team it's right here so basically cause this team requires a bit of effort to put in i would say since uh for cross Z over here, he needs uh, this artifact to make him more reliable. This one right here, Sword of Isra. You can get it uh, from the Hall of Trials, and it's for 150, I believe. Uh, it's right here. If you max out the artifact, it will give you, it will make uh, the reduction 30%, which is really good. And you ideally want to run him as a tank, which is with a HP set, mainly. So you could always use the free HP set right here that they give out, and yeah, for and for his stats you could max it out if you want to, but I recommend you only maxing out his S1 and S2, and that's it. And this is basically serve as your main tank. Over here, Alexa. Alexa will be your main damage dealer right here. Alexa, uh, you want to make her uh you want to make her critical hit chance the highest so she can do more damage which is really good you want to also max out her things you ideally want to max out her s2 that's it just because she gives poison for two uh, rounds which is really good and she will serve as your main dps so just focus on critical hit chance and attack and yeah and then for Misty Chain, Misty Chain, she serves as a healer slash uh, attack unit as well, I would say. Since uh, over here in her S2, she gives a debuff also, decrease attack and unhealable, so which is really good. She So she helps put more debuffs on the enemy team or on the dragon. And you want to max her head damage or head chance to 85 at least. You could all you could use her with uh, you could use her with daydream also, which make her which will make her more beneficial. Uh, daydream is the three star artifact that I showed you, and uh, you want to also max out her effectiveness as well. At least make it 85 or more, and yeah, you should be well done. As long uh, you could use this team while Crozet being level 60, I believe, and the other units could be level 50. But these units. Uh, are really easy to make into a six star because you could get many copies of them and You could six star them using their copies. Don't do the same mistake as I did which basically feed them into their standard forms without six starring them and Especially with this free to play team will actually give you more benefits since they're giving you a lot of imprints and that's it guys This is my common Wolverine team I hope you like this video guys, please subscribe, like, and if you have any other comments or additions to this video, please uh, comment it below in the comment section and thank you.